So we're going to start just hands and knees and we will just open up the front body here on the mat and then exhale, round it in. And open up and curl it in. Two more here. And then we're gonna tuck your hips. We'll press the toes into the mat and just lift the knees up. A couple inches here, hover into that midline. And lower down, building some heat, lift the knees up. Pulling it into the center and lower. Two more here. And the last one. And from here, we're just gonna bring your right arm up to your left shoulder, lower down. Left arm up to right shoulder. Switching through. Trying not to shift too much. For four. And three, two, one. Bring it down, stretch it back on child's pose. And then we're gonna come onto your seat, bring the legs forward. I'm gonna start by curling back into the mat. Lifting your legs straight up to the diagonal. Start to pump your arms nice and big. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Continue like that. Either head lifted or down. But big pumps of the arms. Deep in your stomach. Stretching the legs out of the hips. Really bring those heels tight together. Three more breaths. Maybe you can lower the legs a little bit more because then at the very end, we're sending them towards the ground and lower those legs, reaching over your head, taking a big stretch in opposite direction. Flexing the heels into the mat, and you'll start to curl the upper body up. Let's bring the arms up first. Chin and lift, reach past your heels, and slowly lower down. Everything pulls into the midline. Inhale here, exhale, scoop the head. Lift up with the arms and over. Slowly descend. One more slow like that. Chin in, lift up. And over. Then we'll bring your arms all the way to your ears. Keep them by the ears, palms facing each other. You'll bring your head up, lifting the whole body up and over. Inner thighs together, lower and lift up. and squeeze, and we'll do two more here. Arms stay back. And try to hug those ears and keep them by the ears as you lift the upper body up. Good, and lower. We'll bend your knees, bring your hands underneath your knees. Legs are towards the end of your mat. You'll curl your spine. Straighten your arms. Drop your belly button more into the mat and then lift up. So this is really for the back to get a nice stretch. You straighten your arms and then deepen your core. Press into that rounded back, drop the shoulders and lift up again. Bend your elbows two more. Straight and come down. And one more time. This brings you all the way down towards the mat. 
You'll bring your right leg up to the ceiling. Now we're going to take a cross all the way over. So you're going to lift your hip off the mat. Try to keep your right shoulder on the mat. And then you'll circle around and come up. Cross it all the way over. Pull through the stomach, circle around and lift. Right shoulder down. Right leg across that body. We'll do one more here. Or sorry, two more. And around, giving you a nice chance to open that back up. And then on the, on the reverse, we're just gonna go out, keep both hips on the mat, circle around and lift. Now really deep in your core. Both hips stay. It's like you're going around to bring that hip away from you. Five total. And you'll walk your hands up your leg, curl to the spine, lift. Bring your nose to your forehead. Straighten out, organize your hips there. Flex that foot and point and flex. Making a circle with your ankle and reverse. Good, you'll keep it pointed. Walk it down your leg. Nice and slow, deep in your core and lower it away from you. We'll go into that other side. Left leg up, crossing it all the way over. Move my neck. So that this left shoulder can stay on the mat, but you're in a big thoracic twist. And then circle around, come back up. Same thing, go over. Pull deep into the stomach, around and up. Feel that lower back. You'll do two more. And on the circle up, you really deepen in. And then reverse, just find both hips on the mat. Circle around and up. Turning out that leg. Almost as if you're gonna scoop the hips under you more. So lower back finds the mat more. And last one for that fifth. Walk behind your leg, walk it up. Bring your nose to your knee, pull in. Organize your hips. Drop your shoulders, flex that foot and point. For three, keep that leg close. And we're going for a circle of your ankle. Breathe and reverse. You'll walk your arms all the way down, keep pressing your leg into the hands. All the way down, reach your hands back, roll it all the way up. And you're gonna grab behind your knees for some rolling like a ball. So you'll find the balance first and really weight your legs all the way into those hands. Holding that balance. Now your legs don't want to go back, but your belly does. So your legs still stay close to your body, pressing into your hands as you scoop and lower a couple inches and then come back up. That was really bad for me. <laughs> so you want to try to keep the legs close to you, but they're pressing into your hands. Your arms work. And then you go back all the way and up. Okay, so you'll find it. It's an advanced version of that exercise we did with the feet on the ground where we straighten our elbows. So this is a little harder. Feet pressed together and lift. Now just open that chest and shoulders. Last one here. Now we're gonna try something fun. You'll back up on your mat so that you have space. Grab your ankles. You're gonna rock back for a three. Come up and balance for two 
And on the last one, we come up to stand. All the way up, press your heels into the mat and come up. Yes, coming back down. Grab your ankles, roll and balance and lift. And on that third one, all the way up. Nice and powerful. Stand it down. Two more rounds. Last one. Stand up. And lower. On your own time, make it nice and quick. And come all the way up. Once you're up there, we're going to come into a little chair position, reaching the arms over ears. And then bring your arms to prayer. You're going to twist towards your left side. Bring your right elbow to the left knee. Twisting up to the ceiling and deep in your stomach. Staying low in those hips. Exhale all the air out of your lungs. Bring it back to center, inhale. And exhale, twist towards the other side. Press against your knees with your elbow. Using that twist, twist, twist. Empty out the air in the lungs. Come back up. We'll reach to the ceiling and then straighten out the legs. Reach for the ground. A full stretch of the legs. You'll walk your legs back into a down dog shape. Press both heels to the mat. Unravel your spine. You're going to come into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, press back, down dog. Unravel, come forward. And press it back. Two more. Just for that spine opening up. We hold it here on the last one, nice and slow. We're gonna bring the right knee into the chest and back out, left knee in. Pressing the mat away from you. Getting that crossbody connection. For six, five, four, three, two. And we'll send the knees back, taking that big stretch. You're gonna come into forearm plank here. Tucking through the tops of the toes and hold. Zipping the belly into the center. Walking the legs out to the corners. And then back in. And out, out. And in, in. A little accent as your leg reaches up for the first time. So it's a little activation in the back of the leg. Good, holding it there, we switch. Other leg initiates. Out, out. Two more rounds. One more. Good. Bend your knees and then what you'll do is just send the body weight back. So now the hips are higher and you're just stretching the shoulders and arms. Okay, you'll come onto your back. Now, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, and then just find a twist. You're gonna twist all the way towards left shoulder, or left elbow to right knee. Now, instead of lifting high today, we're gonna try to reach out. So twist as far out as you can getting as much space between your elbow and knee as possible. And then switch. So you're lengthening that line between your left elbow and left knee. And switch. 
still supporting the head, but pulling through your abs, sending both hips to the mat, finding a different sensation today, and switch. Keeping that length, now I just want you to flow through this for six, and switch, and pull the string between the elbow and knee for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees in toward the chest, pull. You'll take your right leg up to the ceiling. Pull behind the ankle, pull it twice, and switch. Going a little bit out of order today, just to change things up. Good, get that leg nice and close to you, use your arms. For four, three, two, one, we go nice and quick. We go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in and lower. Nice and tight. We're gonna take your arms in diamond. Bring them right underneath your tailbone. And what you'll do is just lower the legs to the ground. So you find how your pelvis kind of shifts forward into neutral. Now I want you to pull the rib cage into the mat as much as you possibly can. We're just going to lift the right leg up and lower. Press to the ground, lift the left leg up. See if you can do this from your stomach. So you're activating your abs and lift the leg. Leg comes away from your hip and up. Away from your hip and up. As if someone's pulling the leg and you have to really deepen pelvis into the hands. One more each leg. Good, and then both knees in. Send them up to the ceiling, heels together, toes apart. We lower down for three, two, one. Lift up in one piece. So now when we do this exercise, you go a little lower and you take a little more risk and you can really feel the deepening of your abs instead of the legs just crying at your hips. One more time. All the way up, take it in, bring it in. Big hug. And we're gonna go up and over our head. So we'll press your arms by your sides, lift the leg up. And just hang out here for a second. Open the, the toes to the sides. Big breath into that position. You'll start to slowly curl the chest down, chin comes away from you, feeling each vertebrae drop before the next. You'll bring the legs together up and over again. Separating the feet, belly button pulls you down. You want to be strong in that stomach as your chin comes away from you. So it's like a string pulling into it. We go back over again. And now we lift up to the ceiling. So try to squeeze those glutes, lift higher. And then bring the legs over. Separate to the sides, one last one. We come down, nice and slow, pull the belly to the mat. And then bring the knees into the chest. Big hug. And we're going to come all the way up. Ah, we're gonna go on to your stomach. Arms by your side. Now we're gonna reverse all of that and just lift the upper body up. Pressing some weight into the hands. Get some thoracic extension. And lower down. Press and lift. And you can really make your arms work here. Bearing all your weight into them. One more time. And now we're gonna bring your arms down, place them underneath your forehead, legs together. Lift them up in one piece like a big mermaid tail. Scoop your belly in, heels together, toes apart. Start to beat the legs out and in. 
clicking the heels. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. They lower down. They're gonna lift them right back up and hold. Rotate heels together, toes apart, deepen your hip bones to the mat. And now you cross your right heel in front of the left and switch. Cross the left heel in front of the right, nice and slow. Squeezing in to the midline. Scoop that pelvis. For four and three, super slow. Two, one, and press your arms down, lift and send it back. We're coming towards the side. So you're gonna take your arm, bring it to your head, legs in front of you. We lift up that top leg. You're gonna flex it and we're turning it out today. You're gonna kick it twice and hold. And then send it back and kick twice. Kick twice and hold that leg up and send it back. So just a little hold to remind you, pull in deep into that left oblique. Using that left bicep to really press down. And it's just a little pause. But we just have three. Third two. And one. And we bring it down. We're gonna kick up to the ceiling, turn out position and lower. We'll kick and lower. And kick. As you kick, just watch that your waistline doesn't sink. So you wanna keep that up. Flex or pointing, your choice. For four, three, And one, hover it off so that the heels are just touching here. We wanna go into little circles and we're gonna bring your arm up to your ear. Just passing through center. And reverse. Open up your chest. Reverse one more time, it gets a little bigger. And reverse. Keep it big. And then bring it in all the way down. And lift up, finding a little side plank. Um, we're gonna grab just one of your weights and reach it up to the ceiling. And then lower the hips down and lift it up. Nice and simple. Scooping into that side waist for four, three, two, hold it up on one. Scoop the body under, a little thread the needle, send it back. And pull deep into your abs. For three, two, one, you'll hold it up here. Lift your leg up. You're gonna bring the arm and leg together and over and lift. Arm reaches past your head and reaches up. For five and four, three, two, one, lower down. You'll reach that arm up and over for mermaid.
he is forward. And let's go into that other side. So we'll just have that weight close. And we'll come all the way down. Starting with the right palm, press in. Turn that position, you'll lift up, kick twice and hold. Kick it back and hold. Find that pause. And back. And see if you can take an exhale right when your leg is forward. Here we go for four. And three. Those little pulses and that leg is up. Goes a long way. Last one. They touch each other. It lifts up to the ceiling and lower. Lengthen that leg away. You can play around with the flex point. Pull in with the belly for four, three. Allow this to be about the waist. It comes down, we touch the heels, bring your arm up, little circles. Pass through that heel. And reverse. We make that a little bigger as you reverse. It becomes a little slower. See if you can pull your other glue into the center and reverse. Like it's hard for me today. For three, two, and one. Bring it in. You grab your weight, come all the way up. And lift to the ceiling. Up and lower. This is going to prepare our obliques for our next exercise. We'll learn something new. Two more here. So hold it up nice and deep into that waistline. Thread it through. I really think like you're wringing out your abs like a towel. You have three, two, one. You'll take your leg up. You'll bring your arm over and then meet them together. And over your head and lift. Yes, five, takes a lot of arm strength, two, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, up and over. And you're going to lay on your other side. Um, onto your forearm. Your right leg is on the bottom and it crosses over to the left. Okay. And that forearm is not right underneath your shoulder, but a little bit out. Now, since you're crossed in that long, like, fishtail, with the right heel crossed over, you're gonna reach on the diagonal and lift the legs up. Mm -hmm. So you lower the legs and lift. Try not to sink in your right shoulder, but it's all coming from that left oblique. So they're coming off the ground and back up for four, three, two, one, you'll keep them up and then you'll start to bring your legs forward as you come into this kind of half teaser shape. 
pull into your abs and lift it back around. Reach to that diagonal nice and long as if you're gonna wrap around yourself and then bring it back to the center. Lift up, use your core, reach back around you. This time, we're coming up, you're pressing into the arm as you lift higher, pull your core in, go over and reach. Now press into your arm, press into the palm as you lift up. And over, reach one more time. Lift it up and hold, pull in deep into your stomach and lower it down. All right, I'm gonna go over to the other side. Before we um, do that side, we'll take a deeper mermaid on this one. So you'll sit on the left hip, grab the right with your arm and then twist. And this really hits. You know, I was doing this one earlier this week and I'm uh, feeling it, let's say that. <laughs> Okay, we'll set yourself up for success here. Left crossing over right. So you're in this kind of long fishtail, reaching out and just lift the legs up. And lower and lift. There's really no way that you won't feel this initiation because it's a lot of weight that you're side waist has to do to lift up. Yep, just hovering off the ground for four, three, two, one. We start to just turn our body as the legs sweep forward. We reach to that diagonal, pull deep into the stomach, go back around and reach it up and over. One more time like that. And now we press into your palm, into the mat, lift and come up high. Yes, go all the way over. Use that stomach as leverage. So pull into your abs to lift. It stays tight as you go back. Press like a machine and over for three, deepen and reach for two. Last one. And bring it down. Now bring your legs to the other side. For a deep mermaid stretch, grab the knee. Lift body of the ceiling. And then we'll just come onto your knees. You'll grab both weights. I'm gonna start by just sitting down here on your heels, sitting down and lifting up so that the everything in the center here pulls and lifts you up. You're gonna start by just bringing your arms out to the side, knees are pulling together and then back in. Here, you're coming out. And then, yeah, as if you're sitting on a ball or something. So you're pulling the glutes together. And you have five. And four. Three. Two. Hold it up on one. We make little circles with your weights. There can be a slight, slight, slight bend of the elbow. Super lat, so pressing the armpits down and reverse. For three, two, one, one more time, reverse. Lat, opening the chest and reverse. And now lower the arms down. We rotate the palms towards the back of the room as you lift up and lower and lift. So going a little bit deeper now. Drilling those armpits down your spine. For five, four, no momentum. Three, two, hold it up on one. Little pulses up to the ceiling. Shoulders drop, 
for four, three, two, one. We rotate the palms. You're gonna bend in, send it up to a high V. Bend it in, and you can squeeze the weights here. In and up. See if you can lift that belly button and pelvic floor up and in. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one. You're holding up little pulses. Really drop and open the chest for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're bringing the arms down. You're going to lift your hips, reach your arms up to this open shape. Squeeze your glutes, send it back into a squat, squeeze and lift back up. You can separate the knees just slightly. Bring it in, squat, press up. It's a lower body doing some work now. Distract us from our upper body. In and open. You have four. Lift, three, two. Last one, we take our arms all the way up, Find a tricep press, send the hips just slightly back, hover that feeling, extend the weights and lower. So you're in kind of a mid squat here. We want to pull that stomach up and in. For six, five, four, use your abs. Three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Roll those shoulders out. We're going to come onto your stomach for swimming. First, we start slow, legs together. We're super warmed up in our back and arms now. We're going to do big high reach with the right arm and left leg. Hold and switch. And switch. And switch. Scoop the stomach in. Nice and slow. Open that back out. For four, three, two, one. We go a little quicker here. Nice and high. Scoop your belly in. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. We press it back, child's pose. And then we walk it out to plank. We hold plank. Five good push-ups. We're going to try to do tricep push-ups. Send your nose all the way to the mat. Press down. Lift it up. Touch that nose. Press down. Use your abs. Lift it up. Press down. And lift. Five total. You got it. Last one. And up, send it up, hips back. Walk the feet in. And then walk your hands to your feet. Grabbing on opposite elbow, just let yourself hang down. Rocking over to your right side. Rocking over to the left. One more each side. Letting the arms drop down. Bending your knees. You'll slowly round. Pressing the heels deep into the mat. As your head comes up, you're going to just bring the heels together, toes apart, finding a balance. Scoop your pelvis forward. You'll lift your arms up. And you're not coming all the way up. You want to go just to where the heels can stay touching. And lift your arms up to the ears. Hold that. Drop the shoulders down. Try to close your eyes and balance. Use your glutes. All toes on the ground. 
and then nice and slow, lower the heels, send the arms down, open your eyes. And roll the shoulders back. <sighs> 